All right, everybody, welcome back. Big Wes here, another episode of Big South Ranching. Today, it's another beautiful day. God's blessed us with a good day. Uh, on this video or episode, I'm going to show y'all, some of you might be curious on how to catch a horse up or whatever. Uh, it's how I do it anyway. What I do, I actually use a little feed. I mean, I can whistle. See, I whistle out and watch this. Hold on. So they, they pick their ears up. Yeah, he heard me now. Oh yeah, here he comes. Well, that's my little cattle call, or horse call. Let's go get him some feed and we'll get a halter put on him. I keep his horse feed right here. Yeah. It's in with the cat food. We're gonna try plan B. We're gonna, he saw that halter, so he doesn't wanna come up to me. I'm gonna drop the halter right here and walk down to the end of the alleyway and get him through that gate. And I'll catch him into this lot where I feed him, shut the gate behind him, and then he can't go nowhere. But he's, uh, he's being stubborn. But this, this is the, uh, alleyway right here it's just a short piece here's the pen that goes right behind just right up here there's a small pen i'll feed them in that green bucket right there let's walk down this alleyway and get them down here come on rooster come on come on all the way around see all right now there you go come on around all right, he's got it figured out. He's going, uh, he's going to follow me up here. We're going to shut the gate behind him then. All right, now, we got him caught. So we'll use this gate here. All right, see, he's locked in. We'll give him a little while, let him finish his feed, and then we'll... Get the halter out, it's easy. I can catch him in this this lot here. He's finished his feet now, so we got to get Get any dried mud off of them. Uh, it's pretty good for pulling like this. This time of year, it's starting to warm up, so he sheds a lot of hair. A curry cone is real good. It's also got two different teeth. A smaller teeth right there, or tooth, and then a little bit bigger. You can actually pull it, there's a spring, 
you can pull it and rotate it around for whichever one you desire. But this one, this particular one, I'm gonna use a short tooth. It's mainly just to get dry mud, any excess hair. Pad. I'm gonna set that saddle down. I'll throw it up there. Make sure it's up there good on. Make sure it's up there good around the weathers. Now this saddle here, is, I've had it for several years. It's a ranch uh, cutter saddle type. Got a high back, made by uh, SRS out of Pilot Point, Texas. Adjust the adjust the saddle and the blanket. See, we got some up in front. Make sure the saddle's up there good on his withers. Then we can drop all the cinches. So that's what holds the latigo. I mean, uh, the cinches up. We got a front cinch, rear cinch and the front breast collar. That's about how far you want. That's just a close up of what this saddle looks like. Now, let me get you set up on this side right here. And then we're gonna get ready. This is the Latigo. That'll hook to the front cinch. And this back one here will hook to the rear. You can throw that stirrup up, put it on the horn if you want to. Reach under here. Start with the front cinch always. You got a young colt or green horse. You at least have this one tight first. And that saddle won't saddle will stay on if he goes to bucking or kicking or something. I gotta go around three times with this one. See I'm just gonna pull it snug. It's not real tight. Pull the slack back out. It's got a good latch. And a lot of times I run that tail right back, right back through that D-ring. Now we can get the rear one. It's a lot simpler. It's just like a belt buckle. I pull it tight now. I mean, not real tight. I mean, it's it's not like it's holding his britches up, but I don't want a, a lot of slack hanging in there. And then this front breast collar. Make sure it ain't twisted. Try to get where y'all can see it. And then also this part right here will hook in this D-ring that is in the bottom of this cinch. And you let your stirrup bounce and you got a horse that's saddled now. It ain't going nowhere. All right, the last and final thing to do is get your bridle. I've got my bridle, it's just hanging on the saddle horn right there, but anyway, I'll I'll put that on when I get ready to get, actually ride. We're gonna load this horse up and go do a little more fencing, but I think I'm gonna ride this afternoon. And y'all leave a comment if y'all have any questions. Uh, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate everybody watching. And we'll see y'all on the next episode of Big South Ranch.